Yo, what's up everybody, Fortitron here, and today we are back again with our Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, Easy Mode Beginner's Guide. In the previous episode, we plowed through the gulch, uh, let's call it that, and we went through the rotten, so that's one of our last primal bonfires. We only have one more to do, and that's what we're going to get into in this episode. So let's get into it. Okay. So, now that we've taken care of the Rotten, let's take a look at our stats here. I still want to get my Faith up to, I think we need to get it to 19 to be able to use that Sorcery. And then we might actually have to put some points into um, Attunement. Because I don't even think we have enough for one slot. So, I think in the previous episode we used all of our Soul items. We did. We've got one more Sublime Bone Dust, so let's burn that. Get our Estus flask as potent as possible. And we have a good amount of life gems. Got seven grand though. Let's just buy a big stack of life gems. Thank you, Kai. Okay. And we are gonna head to We're gonna head to the Doors of the Pharaohs and it's gonna be a Grimm's Respite bonfire that we're heading to. All right, so it's been a while since we've been here. You don't need to kill that dude. We can just run past most of these people. They're not of our concern. All right. Run, 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 run. There's a dude up here who throws axes. Do not get hit by any of these. I think they're insta-kill. This crystal lizard is such a pain in the bitch to, <laughs> to kill. So, like, if you need a titanite chunk, like, ugh, it sucks having to go for that crystal lizard. Especially with the rapier. The rapier is just so bad for enemies that are like laying on the ground and stuff, as you've probably noticed. Here we go. We're gonna go out here. I think there's something in this. A little radiant life gem. Brightstone Cove Tesla Dora. So fun fact. The bonfire is here now, but it used to be in this second tent over here. But I guess that was like too hard for people to find, so they moved it. So you start to go through here, and then you'd go through here, and it would be in this tent, which now has a dude. Fun fact, you have to farm these enemies to get sunlight medals if you want uh, to max out that covenant offline. Brutal. It's really brutal. The drop rate is so garbage. Okay, we're gonna be heading down here. That's where we're gonna end up. This is all a trap, so don't pick up these shinies. We're just gonna run past them. I thought we'd be like one-shotting these dudes. You know, there's a fucking pig here. How am I out of stamina? Okay, you're going down. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I think if we've got hot gamer girl stats, yeah, we do. We got eight alluring skulls. Um, there is an event that can happen here. I'm not sure what triggers it, but sometimes the boss that we are going to be, that's not what I wanted. I thought I had the alluring skulls ready to go, but that was not the case. Anyway, there is an event that you can trigger here and it's the boss that we're heading towards and they kind of come up Medir style in Dark Souls 3 if any of you have played that. Um, 
But yeah, I don't I don't know what triggers that event. Like it comes up right here. Oh, a large Titanite shard. Thank you, Dark Souls 2. <laughs> oh yeah, we're actually really close to like another top quality boss. <laughs> Gonna go through here. Go down here. I think there's a chest in one of these rooms. Don't even open it. It triggers a bunch of spiders to come down. Gotta shut that bitch. So right through here is a top quality boss. Um, you'll be fine. You don't need to save scum. You could. You could, but I don't think you need to. The congregation. I'm like, you don't need to, and I get blasted by an AoE. Just get rid of these dudes, because they heal. They heal the enemies and the boss. Say ya. Okay, let's pop a life gem. All right, now the hardest part is the enemies on the floor. I'm just doing an up R2. <laughs> awesome boss. Yay. <laughs> you get a Titanite slab for that. That is ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Grab this bonfire. I would sit down. Okay. You could save scum right there. I'm gonna show you the path that we need to go to. If you need some more Titanite chunks, you could just from here, just go down. Go in here, I think there's gonna be spiders. Yeah. Get used to that. That's what we're gonna be fighting a little bit later. Kill this dude. What's in here? Dust curb. Okay. Walk out here, immediately turn left, and then drop down here, and then walk over here, drop down. Here's more Titanite chunks, and a Twinkling Titanite. Okay, we are gonna drop down. That red Titanite Lizard is a trap. It blows up. All right, there's a bunch of bullshit in here. All right, let's take care of this fucking invader. You're going down, sucker. I wanted to take him out with an R2. Invader banished. These guys suck too. I hate those mages. Um, we could, is this a bashful ray? No thanks. <laughs> okay, so from here we go up, and then we fall down. Over here is another Titanite chunk. We go through this door over here. This takes us to the other side. Take me to the other side. All right, I'm gonna go here. Let's let's debate any of the enemies to come attacks over here. All this stuff down here will slowly kill you if you walk through it. I feel like these dudes are gonna come after us, so let's equip our bow. We got the we were smart and we got more arrows. It's funny because it like it slowly hurts them. 
And then we can just run back here and debate them. <laughs> Look at those ex those uh, explosion mechanics. On the debris, it reminds me of fucking uh, Lords of the Fallen. That is such a delayed attack. Okay. I guarantee you none of that stuff is worth picking up. Okay, let's get our uh, alluring skulls ready to rip. Those and our bow. So let's just pick off some of these spiders just one by one. Thought I would switch and touch them. Oh, I love it when they're all grouped together. See, the hot gamer girl strat is you run in the room and you can just throw the alluring skull and then that'll distract the spiders. We're just gonna pick them off. All right, come here. him in my peripherals and I was like, oh, I gotta switch back. Remember, this is the easy mode beginner's guide, so don't be ashamed of being a little bitch <laughs> and just like hiding back here. Nothing worse than getting memed by a bunch of spiders. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. Uh, later on you get a key and then you can open up this door and I think there's a pyromancy that you need if you if you're going for the platinum Kill this guy You are too should do it Let's summon this person in the more people that we have summoned in the better Fun fact about souls games that people don't understand is oh, it's man hunter O'Hara again um, when you summon in NPC support, it actually increases the boss's health pool. So it's like, yeah, you're getting support, but also at the same time, like, you are increasing the boss's health. And that is kind of a good thing, because then the bosses would just be, like, so, such a joke. There are spiders all along these webs here. It, it is C. I don't know how it is for you guys, but well, I can kind of tell because I watched the videos after I edited them. <laughs> Let's uh use one of the flame butterflies so we can see a little bit better. But with this lighting mod, like shit is so much darker, and it's like really hard for me to see uh at some time. So that's why I'm like walking around like an idiot. Ooh, a pharaoh's lockstone. Okay. Let's just continue down. Let's debate this guy up. Murdered. Okay, let's drop down. I'm surprised that my hit landed. Maybe it was O'Hara that got the hit off. Because I feel like that was too lucky. Nice. It's funny because, like, I'm just so accustomed to the game looking like this with this lighting mod. And it is shocking when you see what the game looks like, like, on consoles. Like, holy shit.
Like, uh, right now, because From Software have announced and Bandai Namco have announced that they're shutting down the Dark Souls 2 online servers for PS3 and Xbox 360, I have the Platinum for Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin on PS4, but I don't have it for PS3. So I'm currently also, while recording this, I am also trying to get the Platinum on PS3. And it is, it is nuts, because that game barely runs at 30 FPS on PS3. So it is quite wild to get used to. Okay, so we have... Oh, our durability on our rapier is not that great. Do we have a repair powder? We should. Not looking good, fam. All right, this sucks. I think we'll make it. I think we'll make it. A little over half. Um, so when we go in here, it's a big spider and there's a bunch of little spiders. So you can keep your learning skulls equipped and if you just need to get away from the spiders, uh, you could just chuck the alluring skull. Um, this boss has two heads on each end and that's the only place where you can deal damage. So hopefully these two NPCs will get the aggro and then uh, the opposite head that does nothing, you can just get free hits on. So we'll just do that. Um, so let's put on our buff and let's go to pound town, let's do this. I've been really bad at reminding people to save scum, so before any boss, save scum. Okay, so I can tell that we had a retention there. I don't want to waste any of my durability on trying to hit those spiders. Okay, so I want shit away from me. You do not want to get hit by the legs. Okay, so I think the the boys took out the, the shitty spiders. And we have yet to get any attacks on the boss. <laughs> We got bit, that'll happen. Let's pop a life gem. Maybe two. Let's get another buff on. Okay, oh, let's... Kind of a scuff fight, but we're getting through it. It's fine. Okay, I think we can finish her off. Even if you think you can face tank a hit, like just don't get greedy. Ooh, easy. Can I get a hell yeah? <laughs> God, I hate these fighters. Okay, don't miss this item over here. Let's go pick it up. Great soul embrace. So embarrassing, I was watching back to the previous episodes and like I said, great soul ember and I was like, that's not this game. Fucking Spidey's right behind me. Hey, same clothes. <laughs> and that's the key. 
that you need for that doorway back when I was like, oh, you can get the pyromancy here. All right, and we got a primal bonfire. And this is our first encounter with this person. You could talk to them. So it's just basically uh, an NPC that tells you like you have two choices. So it's either like you keep the fire burning and like continue the cycle or you just let the world die and go to darkness. Just like in Dark Souls. All right, that was easy. Okay, let's sit down at the bonfire and fix our rapier. We have a bunch of money. Let's pop that. Okay, let's go to the Emerald Herald. Bear. Okay, remember we want more faith. So close. And we bought that spell, right? Yeah, we did. Soul Bees. Okay. Excellente. Okay, we're going to make our way to the next area. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to warp. And we're going to go to the Shaded Woods. And we're going to choose uh, the Ruin Fork Road. And there is a built-in mechanic in this game. It's called Soul Memory. So when you go to player status, at the top right there, that number, that's our soul memory. So we're at... A little over 1 million. Um, you need 1 million soul memory to progress to the next area. And conveniently, if you get all the primal bonfires, you will just have enough. So now that we got the last primal bonfire, we're able to head to the next place. So we're gonna go left here. This place sucks. It's got all these dumb enemies. They run like your character runs in Lords of the Fallen. These enemies right here, which is hilarious. That's why when I saw like some of the first trailers for Lords of the Fallen, I was like, what the? I was like, this looks goofy as hell. And you know the tryhards that were like, have you ever heard of equipment load? Like, I like to see you run full pace with a bunch of armor on. It's like, that's not it. Stop trying to validate shitty looking animations with logic, because that's not going to work. It looks bad, okay? It, it looks goofy. Look at that. This looked goofy in Dark Souls 2. It looks goofy in, in Lords of the Fallen. There's another one back here. I want to slow-mo that later and see how that hit me. What's back here? Oh, a twinkling tight night. Okay, we're gonna run through here. There's ghost enemies down here. Big pain in the ass. Man! Fuck! Stop hitting me! <laughs> the brutality! Fuck you, goblin. Nothing worth picking up. Okay, we're gonna run, 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 run. So this door would not open before, unless you have a million souls, like a million soul memory, but now it will. So now we're able to go over here. Kill this dude. Divine Blessing. I like how he like pauses. Like, can he see me? <laughs> how can he see me? 
I was so worried we were gonna run out of human effigies, but we have so many. I know it's effigy. I just like calling it effigy. There's a show that I used to watch back in the day, and it's called Raising Hope. And there's one character that always put R's, extra R's, on words that didn't have them. And I thought it was funny. It's just, it's, it's just an inside joke that I kept going. I just want to kill that guy first because he just he comes up from behind and he fucking beats you. Well, great sword, thank you. I think there's a holy water back here. Holy water, iron, yep. Yeah. We're heading our way to the castle. Grand Lake Castle. The fucking stupid Titanite lizard. I the bet only drops fucking twinkling Titanite. Oh, a chunk and a slab. Three chunks in the slab. Shit. Look who's here. Conveniently. This castle. Just like okay, go to the castle. This part sucks. Okay, so we're gonna run up these steps and those two elephant dudes are going to come alive and there's these things by the front door and you have to kill the enemies near these two like pillars uh for their souls to go to these things that open the door it's a really stupid mechanic um so we're just going to run past these dudes pop a run 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 go up here Let's kill this dude. Roll away. Go over here. Let's get this dude to come follow us here. Come here. Love it. Okay, that should be enough. Now just go over here and hurdle. It takes a little while for that door to open. chest. I don't think it's anything good. Fire seed and great combustion. Excellent. Okay, so now the door is opening up. Yeah, so stupid. So get used to this mechanic. We gotta do it later. So you gotta kill the enemy right next to her, uh, right next to it. And you see these little guys just keep spawning. It's because so you don't get fucked over. Okay, we're gonna go up in here. Up in here, up in here. Run this dude's dialogue out. Tell me. And then eventually he'll let you buy stuff. <laughs> and he sells unlimited repair powders. Well, these are worth buying. I'm gonna get at least one. Uh, you can learn a gesture. In New Game Plus 2. So not New Game Plus, New Game Plus Plus. You gotta beat the game twice. Uh, when you talk to him, he'll sell you, uh, I think, a few miracles and sorceries that you need to get uh, the platinum. You have to beat this game three times, which is savage. Okay. Get past this dude. Door. Drop down. And across the hallway is the bonfire. Kill this dude. Okay, and then we're going to open this up.
And there you go. Boom, first bonfire in the castle done. Yeah. All right, so I think that's a good place to end it. So yeah, we did a lot. Yeah, we went through Brightstone Cove Tesla Dora and we beat the congregation boss, which is a complete pushover. And then we defeated the Dukes de Freja, uh, or Freya. Uh, which is the big spider boss and we got our last primal bonfire and then with that we were able to finally make our way to the castle in drang lake so i'll see you guys in the next one Ooh.